Yeah, just play easy when he's close. Oh my gosh, that's a beast! Oh, I got that on my drone. That's a beast. <laughs> that might be the biggest sturgeon I've, I've seen here. This mat, there's a blanket. The water's right here. The dam is over there. Yep. There's a tent, there's a rig. I'm just gonna crash right here. No tent. Crash under the stars. Sleep just like this. It gets light around four o'clock. So instead of having a hassle and setting up the car to go to sleep or setting up a tent, I'm just gonna crash right here. Just sleep under the stars and uh, I don't know. I just felt like sleeping outside like this today. What about all the little bugs and snakes like that? We'll worry about them if they show up. If not, then we're only gonna sleep for two hours. Hopefully the water's not too fast. There's carp over there, huh? There's carp everywhere. The spills? Uh, probably. Ooh, dang it. Hmm. Recasted. Rod holders lopsided. Mm, it's not sticking at all. So I guess that'll do. Way down river. Kind of funny because they only have, well, I guess they have six of the eight spills open on the dam. Water doesn't even look that fast, but I guess that undertow is just ripping because. Weight's not sticking. Pretty far left. Yeah, water's pretty fast. Fish on, baby. No, it's a fish. I told you it wasn't a. Here, go on. Here, leave it. No, right there, dude. I told you that wasn't uh, your waist slipping. <laughs> here, here. I told you, man. You were like, oh no, it's just a. Uh, it's just your waist slipping. I was like, no way, that's your waist slipping. All right, I'll pull this rod out of the water.
Oh, when your weight's just bouncing, your rod looks like it's vibrating. All right, we're about 10 minutes in. Sun is just peeking over the horizon. We've been dealing with super fast water. Uh, so we've been having a little bit of trouble to get our weight to stick. So our weights are sticking way down river. And so our rods have been like occasionally like, or our weight's been occasionally slipping off the bottom. We get it to stick and then it gets uh, pushed off the bottom by the current. So your rod looks like it starts bouncing again. And that one right there, it's just one of those situations where you kind of just, over the years, you kind of just develop an eye and you can tell, kind of tell the difference between a fish bite and your weight just bouncing on the bottom. I looked at it, I was like, ah, could have just been the weight rolling, but there was a couple of tugs where it was just too big of a tug for me. And I was like, that's, there's no way that that's not a fish. Set the hook, fish on. It's not a small fish, I'll tell you that. Yeah. He's not small. I'm actually gonna put on my sandals. He's right here already. Coming. Yeah, when he's close, uh, just make sure you play uh, a little easier because there's a lot more tension when they're close like this. Okay. Yeah, he's just kind of swimming right here. Yeah. No, he's right there. Okay. Right there. Decent, Aaron. <laughs> Wake up. They're not even awake yet. <laughs> yeah, they, so. they probably think this is still a dream. Just make sure you're paying attention if there's any rubbing. So if there's rubbing, that's not good. Yeah, because you horsed him in. He didn't have time to fight. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, he's just like right there. Yeah. No, he's just gone. There's a, there, there is a little ledge right here, though. Yeah, come back over here so that you're not... Yeah. It's going again? Yeah, let him go. <laughs> he's not even fighting, is he? Yeah, he's not even fighting. He's just, he's letting you do the work. Yeah. Just don't force him too much. This is why we did a last minute bonsai trip. Oh, right here. Oh, oh right there. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's a good fish. Okay. Woo, he's got a lot of energy. Let him go. Let him go. He's got too much energy. <laughs> It would have been nice if his head was turned in like this, but he was still going like this, so he had all the advantage over me. Yeah, just let him go. He's he's very energetic. He's got a lot of power. It's one thing right there too. It's like you guys saw right there. If you're not careful when when they go like that, they can cut you because of their scoots. That's why uh, you just kind of have to play around with the position of the sturgeon. Just got to be a little bit cautious like that. He splashed me. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah, like 65, 65, 70. Pretty meaty too. Yeah, we touched him. <laughs> this guy was energetic. He jumped like three or four times. He's still going, man. Yeah. He's still going. Yeah, just let him go. We got all day to play with this guy. If I'm being honest, I'm surprised he's not fighting a little bit better than this for his size. 
Unless you're just forcing them. <laughs> I don't. I don't have one. But you can look. He, he's like a 65, 70 incher. He's a five between a five and six footer. Here, come fight. Come under my rod, and we'll fight him over here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do this. There we go. No escape for you this time. Let's go. That's a 76 footer. Wow. Yeah. Take me out, dude. All right, put the rod down. You come hold them and uh, I'll take pictures of you. That's a good fish right there. I got my camera. Yeah. Oh. Come on. There we go. His fin was kind of like tucked under himself. So what you do is you want to be careful. Keep them in the water like this. And when you roll them, you want to make sure you don't break their fin. This is probably one of the biggest mishandles of sturgeon that I see. They land a fish and a lot of times the fish will just naturally like flip on its side. And so people aren't aware of them doing that. So when they roll them, they break this fin right here. You break that fin, that's essentially like breaking your arm. For a fish, it's more like breaking their leg almost. These fins right here, I mean, all the fins on a fish are important, but especially these two up here, you don't want, you want to make sure you don't damage him because you can see like right now, he's in a lot of water. If you look at his head, like 90% of his head is submerged in the water, if not 100% of the head. And he's kind of just naturally like trying to like float on its side, but I'm holding his tail and I'm keeping him upright. I'm putting my leg like this so that if he was trying to go this way, my leg's going to catch him so he can't turn this way and, and just escape from me, especially right now since nobody's holding the rod. So that's a beautiful fish right here. So we're going to get some quick pictures and we're going to release him. Just keep his head under the water. Just let him recover and we'll be good to go. You want a horizontal or is he going to go? <laughs> Bruh, come on. We got to we gotta work on our Sturgeon Hanley skills here, bro. <laughs> dude, my right hand is sore. Sore? It's the first one. Yeah, dude. Okay. Oh, his fence caught. Yeah, yeah. No, he's good. Okay. All right, guys, first sturgeon of the year with the SY outside. Let's go. <laughs> Let him go. Okay. He goes. It's full of energy. Woo. Let's go, dude. Dope. Pressure's off from here on out. We'll just see how many more we can catch. That was a solid, like, 70 inch sturgeon right there. So, no complaints. Hey, look, you broke off all right. Yeah. All right, so here's pretty much what we got going on. Um, my standard sliding rig, so slider here, bead, swivel, Dacron tied to an 8 aught barbless hook. Today we got a bunch of crappie, so we're using crappie as bait. Just got an 8 ounce weight. If I'm being honest, the 8 ounce weight is not as heavy as I'd like it for the type of conditions that we're dealing with this morning. A 10 ounce or even a 12 ounce weight would be more ideal, but um, we don't have those, so. You guys can see, even when you have a little bit of problems like that, just being willing to work around that issue, you can still catch fish. So, gonna launch this thing way back out and see if we get lucky here. I like the distance, but it's like the current's just so fast. So even I don't know how well this is gonna sit. Because the farther you go in the channel, the less likely your weight's to stick, just because there's so much more pressure on the current. I like it. I like it a lot. Yep. Yeah, I like that. My weight just slipped.
think my weight just slipped. So last night when we arrived, I told you guys that I was gonna be sleeping on this mat right in the wide open. Figured I'd give you guys an update because uh, I made it through the two hour long night. This is what I was laying on. That sleeping bag wasn't there. Josh was using that in the car. So I had this super thin snowflake blanket and i'll be honest it was relatively comfortable it doesn't look comfortable because you're sleeping on rocks but these things like they kind of just conform to your body so it's pretty nice only thing was my blanket wasn't adequate for last night i was just a little cold but we survived that was fun though because when you sleep out here it's a lot easier to get up because you're already up it already feels like you're out so this morning when we woke up it was just throw off the blanket go to our fishing stuff and cast out a rod sleeping under the stars like that it's pretty pretty refreshing so now we're back to the waiting game the sun's gonna peek over the horizon and we're gonna get beamed by the sun here shortly but nonetheless the trip's already a success so we got some ribs going on but the thing is we forgot to bring uh seasoning so we're eating plain meat we got it josh it's going yeah, it's really hot. It's on low. Yep, you're good. Yep. Baby back ribs on the grill. So we only have four hours left to fish. And when it comes to sturgeon fishing, depending on how much bait you have, you know, you want to disperse your fresh bait over the course of your trip. But since we only have four more hours to fish, you know, I'm not really concerned about saving fresh bait because if you're saving it you're just not gonna use all of it by the end of the trip so i'm gonna take off the first piece of crappie that i had tied on and we're just gonna put on a new and fresh piece of crappie i don't care what bait you're using crappie like we are today pike minnow trout whatever you're using fresh bait that's king so i'm gonna take this head i'm gonna use this head actually so what I do is I take 10 pound mono and I basically do a uni knot right here. So I have a uni knot right here. I'm just gonna cinch it. It's gonna wrap it over my piece of bait here and I'm just gonna cinch it tight around this fish head. So once you have this tied onto some part of the bait you're pretty much good and then after that I just do a simple overhand knot but I do like four loops this way it just secures the uni knot so it doesn't um, retract on me so once you have that then you simply take your tag ends right here and I just tie them to the eye of the hook that way it can't slide down the hook because again we are running barbless hooks so if you don't secure your hook or if you don't secure your bait to the hook it's just going to slide off and you have no bait on your hook, which no bait on the hook means there's probably no fish that's gonna bite your bait or your hook. So, pretty simple process. I'm just running a bunch of loops through the eye of the hook right now. And then once I'm done doing that, I'm just gonna run it again. And I'm just gonna do a bunch of simple overhand knots. But again, I do like four or five wraps around the loop before I cinch it. And then from here on out, just cinch this tight like this. That's one tag in. I'm gonna take the second tag in and I'm just gonna repeat the process. And then from there, it's just ready to cast. Some people ask, why don't you just use Miracle Thread? This will work too. But when you're using a hard piece of bait like the fish heads right here, it's just a lot harder to get that uh, miracle thread to work properly. So when it comes to like using the fish head or something that's really not squishy, I just resort to using like actual like fishing line to tie it down. So that's basically it. Tie new fresh bait, cast it out, see if we can hook the second one for the day. Yep, 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 yep,
fish. Yep. Feel see if see if he's on there. Fish on, baby. Let's go. Dude, you got the hot rod today. <laughs> he's on, dude. Fish on. Uh, oh, he's running, dude. Yep, yep, yep. Woo! Hey, come under me. Yeah. Or I'll come behind you. Come pull. Come pull. That's the power of recasting right there. Yeah. Dude, you got the hot rod, man. Oh, I, running, I don't know what I'm doing today. Crane, dude. Yeah, he's gonna jump. Don't don't horse him too much. He's gonna go. Uh, yeah, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Dude, you got the hot hands, man. That's just how it goes sometimes. Sometimes it's just not your day. This one is strong. Yeah, that's a big fish. I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm getting schooled today. Josh has got the hot hands, but that's all right because Josh just came back from uh, training. He was down in Arizona. He's in the Marines, so I'm happy that he's having all the fun. Yeah, I think it's I think it's a lot bigger than you think. Yeah. If you have to, we'll have to go fight him in the water over there. Okay. Yep. That's the thing. Always be aware of the structures. They can cut your line. Yeah, he's pulling, dude. Yeah, if he's going, let him go. Yep. Fighter. Oh, he, oh, jumped, he jumped. Dude, he's huge. He's huge, dude. Did I get that on video? Dude, he is huge. I, I, told, I told you. Dude, he's freaking ginormous, dude. Yeah, I told you. He's big. This one is fat, dude. I told you. When he was running, I was like, I don't think it's a small fish. Dude. He's... Don't horse him too much, though. He's a pig, dude. Yeah, it's a big fish. Yeah. Wow. I swear his head was as big as that. Oh, I, I saw it, too. It was big. It's a big fish. I didn't see the body. I think his... I think only his head came up. Yeah, dude. <laughs> He's so big, his body couldn't come yeah, up. Yeah, just be aware of that ledge. If you feel rocks, don't force them yeah. too much. Yeah, We're going to be in it for the long run, so conserve energy. Yeah. Conserve energy, and we got to mainly conserve the line, too, because I don't know how the line's doing. Who knows? Maybe they don't like the super fast current. Maybe they yeah. like this easier. Because I think if they're gonna feed, the yeah. current's way too fast, so all the food is probably just going past. Yeah. But they probably like the slower water where the food is not getting pushed way fast. Yeah. Or they wait outside the current. Yeah. But they're just like stagnant, not in the current. So maybe we are casting too far because all the hits we have aren't even that far. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, just play easy when he's close. Oh my gosh, that's a beast! I got on my drone. That's a beast. <laughs> that might be the biggest sturgeon I've I've seen here. We gotta land this guy. Dude, that was epic. That was epic. Woo! <laughs> Dude! He's yeah. As big as his log, dude. Play easy with him. Play easy with him. What? You lose him? Did he come off? Did he pop off? Oh, no, 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 no. He's running at you. He, he's yeah, running at you. Just yeah, real, just real, yeah, just real, yeah. just real. He's trying to swim at you to uh, put uh, loose intention on the hook. Yeah, just real. If she's coming at you, just real. You yeah. don't. You don't even have to like pump. Yeah, that's what the fish that I caught last year did to me. Just yeah. came straight at me. He's very good. I don't have a lot of memories. Yeah, I got the splash. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big fish. That's a, that's a beast. You got good view. Yeah. Were you pretty close? Yeah. You you see everything. I got us and the fish. Yeah. Just be cautious of your line, cause that's the only reason we're gonna lose this fish is if our line snaps. Yeah. But 50 pounds should be okay. Dude, it's taking me far, dude. I'm like, how cool. <laughs> dude, she's running, dude. Yeah, let her go. Crazy. Yep. I think 
Huh? You want me to do it? Yeah, do it. This time you're doing it? No. Good. <laughs> okay, dude. You don't have a lot of line? Running, yeah, yeah th no, there's braid on the bottom. Okay. I'm like halfway, dude. Yeah, 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 there's braid on the bottom. Okay. There's still braid. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm here. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Okay, take it. All right. <gasps> oh, yeah, that's a that's a beast. Dude, big. Gonna take us down to our backing, our braid. Yeah, that's that's good body weight. She's laying the curve just yeah, she's she's taking advantage of the current. Yeah. Dude, that's a that's a log. Oh my goodness. I can't even turn this camera around. Gonna get to our braid right here. Let's hope the double uni knot doesn't fail. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. We're about to get to our braid right here. 65 pound braid, a 50 pound mono, double uni knot. We should be all right. Unless I tied a crappy uni knot. It's turning. Oh my gosh. Body's insane. <laughs> He's not even budging, man. <laughs> yeah, this is a definition of a river monster right here. Oh yeah. Dude, that was some epic footage. That was cool. I think I got. Dude, the, the body weight alone is like respectable. That's crazy. The fish isn't running, so I'm basically fighting. Like I'm I'm reeling this fish in, but this fish is so heavy, it's just like barely budging. Slowly but surely. <laughs> She's not running, thankfully, but. You just play nice and easy with them. Some people think that when you fight sturgeon, it's about fast and short, but it's all about efficiency. Slow and easy. Oh, that is crazy. Yeah, she's pretty good. I feel like this, this year, she's uh, way out in the current. Yeah. Let's get that right getting, uh, on the bottom of Yeah, because I think she's so high up that the line's not going down, which is good. She's floating above the ledge. I do really like the fact that she's fighting really high. Yeah. So we're not rubbing at all. Yeah. At first, when I was feeling all this weird vibration, she was on the floor. Yeah, she was. She but was as soon as she, as soon as they breach, a lot of times they stay pretty high up. It takes a lot of energy to go down. Yep. I don't do that. Yeah, that spool was like basically full, and uh, she has all that line out right now. She's out here. We're gonna hopefully pull her in and land her right in all this clear water. This is super nice to land because it's like a shallow drop right here you can see it drops off kind of right there but then it's enough water for us to get in so we can land the fish so that's the other thing that often gets overlooked for sturgeon anglers not only does the fishing spot have to be good but you also want to make sure that you can have a nice landing spot like this to land sturgeon it's not always necessary but it's required especially if you have any plans to take pictures with the fish got the fish right back to right here this fish breached like two I think two times right in this area right here. My left arm is like stiff. But let's hope that this is the last run that she's gonna do because she's already ran like four different times and usually by four, the fourth or the fifth run, they're usually out. So hopefully this is it right here. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's, a, it's fun to fight these fish, but after a while, 
you're just like i just want to land this fish that's what i'm more concerned about it's not about fighting the fish it's just that the more you play with them the higher the odds of you just losing the fish so definitely don't want to lose this guy because we only have to fish until 11 30. it's 10 30 right now we've been fish fighting this fish for an hour so basically we land this fish Come on, dude. then we are pretty much out of here it's going Come on, dude. <laughs> yeah she still got like a solid like 80 yards of line it's not even like close yet we haven't even got her to the red zone like that is still like way out there It's just her body weight. It's like, it's it's like huge, there's man. nothing snagged, there's nothing. It's just her body weight that's not budging. I feel like she's smart too. She is. She's really smart. She is. She lets us fight and she conserves energy. And then she's like, <laughs> I'm ready to go. And so she goes. And then the current comes. Like, yeah, and then she goes to the current and takes her down. She's good? smart. It's a smart sturgeon. Enough. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to go home. <laughs> uh, Want to take over from there? Yep. I don't feel like I'm doing much. Here. Better than letting it run. Yeah. All right. I don't think I lost that much line. Nope. Did pretty good. Dude, this is legit, bro. Oh man, for sure. Yeah. This log right here is legit. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Why didn't we do this in the first place? Oh, because we, we're just scared of getting it uh, snagged on the rock. Yeah. She's got to go. Yeah, she's got to go. All right. I'm trying to play tight with you. Yeah, she's just going to not nudge. We could just not nudge, too. Yeah. <laughs> she's like barely inching towards me. You know which way she's facing? She's, head, she's facing that way? I think she's facing towards us because I'm pulling her in. Uh, She's still going, man. <laughs> so unreal. Thank you, yes. That's a big leverage right there. This fish is making us run for our money. So our, our camp is over here, but she's fighting down over here so we're gonna walk down the shoreline and chase her down we will instead of land her over there where josh is coming from we're gonna try to land her right here because she's fighting in this pool right here so right here it's a decent landing spot you can see we can get in the water it's relatively deep here so that the fish isn't beached onto the shoreline so we can safely handle this fish here and also we can recover a lot of line by just walking this way since the fish is fighting here so is it Yep, I'm here to land them. They got this. Pop up, she's gonna pop up. Yep. She's gonna pop up. Yep. Don't force her too much. Don't break her off at the shore. That's gonna be, oh my goodness, right there. Oh. That's a beast. Yeah, let her go. <laughs> Loosen the drag a little. Yeah. Rubbing? Yeah. Yeah. Let her go. Loosen the drag. Red zone right here. Yeah. 
Yeah. I, just, I, I didn't get the full length of it. I just saw saw the body. As long as she stays in this pool right here. Yeah. It's that worker. It's just one of the workers, I think. Yeah, let him go. Taking line out. Okay, since we got this close, this has got to be the last run. Yeah. It's got to be. Dude, that thing was huge. It was like it was so it's long, dude. Yeah, it's a, it's a beast. Yeah. Just remember, when the closer they get, the, the easier you play with them. Yeah. Because when you're super close like this, there's way more tension on the line. Yeah. Who is hot now? What? You broke off? What the? Oh. No. He rubbed. Dude, that hurts. That hurts. We lost everything? Yeah. Dang. That hurts. Let me see the line. The line's somewhat beat up, but it's like... Just a clean nick. What the heck? No, there's some. This was probably a weak spot. It probably got nicked somewhere. Yeah, because I felt it rub here. Yeah, it probably rubbed like right here. I just kept rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. Dang, that was a big fish. Woo! <laughs> Crazy. Dang, that's a heartbreaker right there. That thing was huge. So at least, long. at least we saw him right there. Dude, that's probably long. like that's a probably eight and a half footer. That's sturgeon fishing right there. Fought that fish for an hour, 45 minutes. Had him at the last, like, five yards. Made one last run and there was a nick in my mono somewhere. Something happened and snapped right off. Ah, that hurts. That's gonna wrap it up for our quick overnighter. Uh, we only planned to fish till 11.30 this morning. It's already 11.20. Spend the last hour 45 minutes fighting that fish that we just lost. But if you're new to sturgeon fishing, let me tell you, losing fish like that in a heartbreaking fashion is something that every sturgeon angler will deal with at some point in time in their sturgeon angling career. That one hurt a lot, not only because it was just a sturgeon, but it was no doubt one of the bigger or maybe the biggest sturgeon that I've ever seen right here before so we're gonna pack it up here really appreciate you guys watching this quick sturgeon fishing trip but trust me we'll be back down going after sturgeon at some point in time before the summer's over so thanks for watching guys see you in the next one